Hey guys, so it's me, Kian. Today's video, I want to bring you this look. I call it my festive holiday glam. It's actually going to be really quick, really easy. And I know you guys say, Kiana, you always say it's going to be really quick and really easy. It is going to be really quick and really easy. This look is all about the glow, girls. It's all about the glow. Um, I'm really bringing you a little bit of glitz and glam, but still very, very casual. You know, got my hair pulled up. You know, got my little turtleneck on, and I even put on a necklace for you girls. So, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hashtag me if you actually decide to recreate this look at Makeup by Kiani Glam. That's hashtag Makeup by Kiani Glam. I want to see some of the looks that you guys are creating from my tutorial. So, moving into 2016, that's going to be something new and different and exciting. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. We are ready for you to join us. And for now, let's get into this festive holiday glam tutorial. So, thanks to my amazing hairstylist, Miss Angie of Salon Lache, she brightened my hair so much that we're actually going to do a really, really quick, fun tutorial today. So, I'm actually going to start, as always, with my Idealist Skin Refinisher. It's going to really remove any dead skin cells from my face. It's also going to act as a primer. Or any look without my advanced night repair it's a dna repair product it also makes sure that my skin is very very hydrated and moisturized it goes on obviously like a serum but it keeps my skin from getting dry throughout the day i have a brand new product by estee lauder more details to come on this but this is going to be one of my new eye products that i'm trying right now it comes in two parts Part one, which is going to be very hydrating and sticky, and the other part, which is going to be a filler. So, again, more details to come on that. I'm just going to grab a little bit, apply that around the eye area. Look how much I'm using, just a tiny amount. So I used the hydration part, and now I'm going to use a little bit of the filling section and fill in any of those fine lines around the eye area. Lastly, I'm going to use a little bit of my Resilience Lift Moisturizer. Tiny amount. This fun stuff so allows my foundation to glide on very, very, very seamless. Let's do a little bit of my Vaseline Rosy Lips. Hydrating the lip area, just in case I do decide to use a matte lip. I'm not sure what lip I'm going to use. Right. I think I actually want to use a long wearing kind of full glam foundation today. This is one of my favorite ones. It's the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Creme Cafe. And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And then I'm also going to grab a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Honey, which is 322. And I'm almost out. Like I think I'm, I might actually be completely out of this foundation, but I love it so much. I'm just gonna grab the last little bit, and I'm gonna mix those two. Just by mixing those two, it keeps this foundation from being too dry and too thick, but it does still give me the full glam that I'm looking for. I'm gonna grab my Morphe 439 brush, swirl those two together, and just go in and pat this out. Because I did just have my hair lighten even more, I wanted to actually try my foundation before I do any of the um, color correcting, just to see if I can actually get away without doing that. So for the sake of, I'm not gonna do any color correcting, I'm not gonna do any contouring until well, well later into the video. So right now, I'm gonna leave this as so. I'm gonna play with brows just a little bit. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit for you girls. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just going to anchor my brow just a little bit. I have a pretty good shape on them right now. I'm just going to create the structure that I need and fill in my tail. Next, I'm going to grab my CoverGirl Honey Brown brow pencil. I'm just going to fill in the middle of the structure. Yep. La 
lastly, I'm just going to set my brows with my MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. This is in the shade Toasted Blonde. Lastly for brows, I'm going to grab my Kevin O'Quan. This is the Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX09 using my Sonia Kasha Concealing Brush. I'm just going to clean up underneath the brow just a little bit. Next match, I'm going to move directly into the eyes. I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Matte Perfecting Primer. And I'm just going to grab the tiniest amount and use this on my eyelids as an eyeshadow base. I like this product because it does not disturb whatever color I want to use, but it does keep my lid very, very dry and mattified all day long. And it ends up being colorless, so. Next, I'm actually going to grab my Chanel number no. 5 Ombre palette. This is limited edition, but this has been like one of my favorite palettes. Um, that I've been using this season. I'm directly going to move into this icier shade right here and pile this directly on the lid. You don't have this palette using the Naked Basics palette will give you a very similar look or you can actually use highlighting contouring powders and that will give you a very similar look as well. So, you know, as always, I'm going to say use what you have. But you see how that opened the eyelid up? Pressing it in with my finger. So I'm going to grab my Sigma E35 brush, a very, very fat, fluffy brush. I'm going to move into the second shade right here, more of a topia brown, tapping off any excess, and just going to kind of create a little bit of a contour on the eye. This is going to be very, very minimalist because the band is going to come with the glitter. You can blend that up as high and up as you like. Circle of motions, blend, blend, blend. You also notice I'm not going to do anything on the bottom right now. I just want to keep this very, very clean. And remember, we haven't done any of our highlight underneath there. So whatever you put on the bottom is going to be erased for the most part anyway. So just hang on for that stuff. Next, I'm actually going to do something a little bit unconventional. I'm going to grab an eyeliner pencil. This is Night Moth by MAC. And I am going to bleed this on the inner waterline. A little bit of pop. Something a little bit different from black. Look how beautiful that is. And get just enough up under there. Don't worry about it bleeding outside because we're going to blend it out as well. And then I'm going to do a little bit on the top. Mama needs some glasses on. So we're going to just do it like this. And I'm just going to create a very seamless line. Nothing too specific because we are going to just kind of smoke it out just a tad and just pull out just a little bit to kind of start to create a tail. But nothing too, too specific. And uh, this is very easy. You don't have to be too specific at all. Crazy enough, using this pencil did not cause my eyes to tear up at all. Oftentimes, blues and purples do create more of a allergy base for my eyes and starts them to tear up, but this surprisingly did not do that. So, Night Moth, I think, is a good eyeliner pencil, although it is in the lip liner section of MAC. Look at that beautiful, beautiful payoff. It's crazy, right? I'm going to grab another pencil brush. This is also by Sonia Kashuk. And I'm just going to start smoking this out just a little bit. I want it to bleed, so I'm going to blend it out. As you move out on the side or the exterior bead, start pulling upward so you're starting to create a little bit of a smoky tail. All the way underneath the lower lash line as well. Blend it out. The color is intense, but the smoky is very soft, so.
There we go. Next, I'm actually going to grab some lit glitter. I have two different colors here, but you know, I think I'm actually going to use champagne bushes. This beautiful, beautiful iridescent um, silver shade. And I am going to basically liquefy it and have it stick using something different. This is my clear waterproof gel. This is Beauty Genius by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. It's clear as well. And I like this because it doesn't make the glitter too hard to come off, but it does make it last as long as I need it to. So I'm going to put a little spat on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to apply it using a flat I guess this is like a flat blender brush. I did find this in the brush section of Michaels. It's by Royal Lenickel, I believe. I'll put the name in the description box. And um, it is a number six and a level two brush. So I like this because these are not very, very expensive when I'm working with glitters. I don't like to use expensive Sigma brushes and things of that nature. So let's just apply a little bit to the brush. And then I'm going to dip it right into my glitter and pack it on. Can you see that? And then I am just going to set that right on top of the, the liner. And just pack it as much as you want. Pretty cool, right? Same thing, all the way on the lower lash line as well. Sparkle! And if you girls are just like me and can't live without your strong cat eye, if you really feel like the look, look is not complete without that, I'm gonna grab a little bit of my liquid eyeliner. create just a little bit more definition. And just pull that. And create a little bit of a wing. I'm going to finalize the wing. Not really going on top of the glitter as much now but just making it very, very tiny. So there. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now that that's done, I'm going to grab my MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna pop into this third shape right here. And you know, I'm gonna mix the two. And just going to create a little bit of a definition right in my crease, just a little bit, just to kind of connect the look so it doesn't look so one dimensional. But how can anything really look one dimensional with glitter? <laughs> this is almost like doing a very, very super soft cut crease for those of you that wanted to know the technical term. Next, I'm going to grab my MAC 159 brush and just dust off any glitter that is below the line of the eye and I think that Anastasia product it works really really well it kept it exactly where I wanted the product to be but a little bit of fallout with glitter really is expected so I think right now I'm going to grab a little bit of my MAC this is the studio conceal and corrector duo just a little bit because I am a little bit more OCD about underneath my eye area. And yep, I'm putting it directly on top of that foundation because it's so creamy that sometimes having a little bit more product underneath this allows it to stick a little bit better and give you the brightness and the color correctness that you want. So that's the coral. I'm gonna use a little bit of the yellow and make my own concealer mixture here. And I'm creating a little bit of a highlight right here. I'm gonna move in with my damn beauty blender and just blend this up as tight as you can around the eye area. I'm 
Oh yeah, look how pretty that is. Not a harsh highlight at all, but it just blends in so good, especially when you have something as um, matte as that infallible foundation. It just works. It works really, really well. And the point on the Beauty Blender allows you to get right up around that glitter. Just make sure that you don't tap into it. And it cleans up. See that? So got a little bit of brightness, a little bit of color correction going on. And I also removed that glitter. I'm gonna move right now into my Airspun powder. This is the Honey Beige. Damp Beauty Blender, tap, 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 and go ahead and set it. I'm going to grab my Cover FX. This is the Contour Kit in Deep. Contour Brush by Real Techniques, and I'm going to pop into level three and level four, and just create a really soft contour right on top of that foundation. And this again is very creamy, so it allows me to do this and just continue to blend. You didn't really think I was going to do this look without any contour, did you? Next, I'm going to grab my Morphe 9BZ palette. Get some bronzer so I can actually set everything that's creamy, and I'm just going to kind of pop into all these shades just kind of set any of that cream using my Sigma powder brush and I've turned it into more like a paddle brush because I'm using the side of the brush instead of the um, top it does cover a larger surface area this way and gets it over with really really quick because it doesn't have to be super specific this is just going to be light contour and I'm wearing a white turtleneck so I don't know how well this is going to go but yeah girls Pinching that brush, I'm just going to pop it right around the nose area. There you go. Lastly, I'm just going to grab my CoverGirl. This is the Lasting Matte Powder. And I'm going to grab another Sigma brush. This is the Tapered Face Brush, the F25. And just going to blend over everything so everything's nice and soft and blended. Nothing is standing out too harsh because really you want this look to be all about the eyes. And this setting powder is whoo, life. Look at that. How this blends everything together. And just tap it. Right over top of that powder, just to make sure I don't have any flashback. Morphe blush palette. I, mean, I just can't stop using this palette. I'm actually going to grab my, um, this is my Lab 2 Make Me Blush Brush. I found this in Walmart this summer. And I'm just going to pop this right into this middle shade right here because it's very, very neutral. But look at that, look at the payoff. So just make sure that you don't put too much blush on. But I like this because you can kind of pop, 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 pop the blush and really get the intensity that you want. Especially when you're using a shade similar to these right here. They have a little bit of sparkle in them. But the payoff is so good and this palette is so inexpensive so i just want a, a fleshy shade of blush i don't want it to say blush you know i just want to give a little bit of life back to the cheek now we've done a lot of that let's finish eyes that glitter should be good and set I am using my Cherry Blossom number 62s. I love these lashes. Lashes! I'm gonna grab my ELF Makeup Mist and Set and my ELF Fan Brush. I'm gonna dampen these. And I'm gonna pop right into my Anastasia of Beverly Hills. So Nectar, no. Yeah, the Peach Nectar Highlighter. This face glow, look at that. And the lip combination that I've been loving is the LA Girl Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. This is in the shade Bizarre. 
$3.99 for a really, really good liquid lipstick, you guys. Mm. Very rosy. Still festive. Let that dry just a little bit, and then I'm going to grab my Toasted Marshmallow by NYX. Lay this directly on top, and it allows this liquid lipstick to grab hold of the gloss so you can actually have I would say a good four to six hours let it kind of get a little sticky you can actually stop here if you want more of a berry flow but I the last step oh my gosh this is the dainty lip gloss by Anastasia with Beverly Hills and I'm just going to finish the look off Thanks. get these bangs together and in the words of miss christy tegan boom 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 i'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video remember to give it a thumbs up remember to follow me on instagram at love underscore kiani to receive daily beauty tips if you have not already subscribed to my channel click that subscribe button it's free so we can get ready to go into 2016. That's all we have for now, guys. Big hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Until next time. Bye.